In this lecture, we are going to learn what is React Context and we are also going to learn the use of Use Context React Hook. In a very simple words, we can say that we use React Context to manage states globally. Let's understand this with an example. Here, I am in the app component. Now, in this app component, we are creating this state called is logged in. And we are creating this state using this use state react hook. Now, this is logged in state will only be available inside this app component. If we want to make this is logged in state available in the child components of this app component, we can pass it as a props. So, here you can see we are passing this is logged in state as a props to this main header component. For that, we are creating an attribute on this main header component and to that we are assigning the value of this is logged in. And then if I go to this main header component, here we are using that props. And again, we are passing the value of that props to this navigation component using this is logged in attribute. So now this is logged in attribute will be created as a property on the props object of this navigation component. So if I go to this navigation component, on this props object, we will have this is logged in property. And based on the value of this is logged in property, we are displaying these links. If this is logged in property of this props object is true, in that case, these links will be displayed in the web page. Okay, but if this value, this is logged in is, is false, in that case, these links and this logout button will not be dis displayed in the web page. So if I go to the web page, if I enter a proper email and a password currently you see that this is logged in is set to false so you don't see those links here in the navbar but as soon as i click on this login button this is logged in property it is set to true and when it is true in the web page we can see this user menu this admin menu and this logout button so this users menu this admin menu and this logout button so in order to make this is logged in state available in the child components of this app component we are passing it as a props because this state will be available locally it will only be available inside the component inside which we have declared it so in this case we have created this is logged in state inside this app component so it will only be available inside this app component but with the help of react context we can make a state available globally and in that case, we don't have to pass a state as a props to the child components in order to use that state in the child component. So let's first see how we can create a context. For that, what I'm going to do is inside this components folder, I'm going to create a new folder. I will call it maybe context. You can call this folder anything. Inside this context folder, I'm going to create a new file and I will call this file auth context.js. And inside this file, the first thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to import this React object from the React library. And on this React object, we have a method called create context. And this method will return an object. Let's go ahead and let's store that object in a variable and let's call it auth context. All right. And I'm also going to export this auth context object from this file so for that let's say export default auth context now to this create context method we can pass an initial value that value can be a string maybe hello like this or it can be an object okay so this value can be any type of value it can be a number it can be a string it can be an array it can be an object here i'm specifying an object and inside this object, I'm going to create a property. I will call it is logged in. And initially, let's set it to false. This F should be lowercase. All right. So here we have created a context. Now we want to use this context inside this app component. So I will copy this context. You know the name of this context. And what I want is I want to wrap this JSX within that auth context. So here I'll go ahead and I will use this auth context like a JSX element. And on this auth context, we have a property called provider. 
Okay, so here we need to use auth context dot provider. Let me cut this closing element here and let's paste it here. I will remove this commented code from here. And now since we have one root element here, which is this auth context dot provider, if we want, we can go ahead and we can remove this react fragment. Okay, if you want to keep it, you can also keep it, but it is not necessary here. All right. So here we have created this auth context and here we are providing this auth context. Now on this auth context dot provider element, we can specify a props called value. Okay. And this value is a special type of props, which is available on the context. And to this value props, we can assign a value. And that value will be available throughout the child components. So for example, to this value props, I'm going to assign the same object. Let me copy it from here and I'll pass it to this value props. So now this object will be available inside this main header component and all its child components. In the same way, this object will also be available inside this login component and this home component and all their child components. Okay. And here what I'm going to do is, so what we are doing is we are passing the value of this is logged in state, which we have created here using this use state to this is authenticated props. But here I'm going to remove this because just now we learned that now this is logged in context, which we have created here it will be available inside this main header and all its child components, right? So to this is logged in context to this state, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign this is logged in state, the value stored in this is logged in state. So now this is logged in property of this object. It is storing the value stored in this is logged in state. And since we are using a context here. This object will be available in all the child components here. So this object will be available in this main header component and all its child components inside this login component and all its child components and inside this home component and all its child components. That means if I go to this main header component, so here inside this component also, this object will be available. So if we want, we can use it. But inside this main header component, we are not using this is logged in, uh, you know, this is logged in state. We are simply passing it to this navigation component. So here also, we don't need to do that. I can simply remove it because this navigation component is the child component of this main header component. And in this main header component, we have access to this object. So that's why in this navigation component also, we will have access to this object. Let's go to this navigation component now. Now in the navigation component on this props object, now we don't have this is logged in property because from this main header component, now we are not passing any props called is logged in to this navigation component. So here this is logged in going to be undefined. And that's why if I go to the web page, you will notice that I'm in the home page. That means the user is logged in. But here we don't see these menu items. Basically, these menu items because this is logged in is set to undefined. And it is set to undefined because on this props object, we don't have any property called is logged in. That's because here when we are calling this navigation component, we have not specified any attribute called is logged in. And to that we have not assigned any value. All right. So I hope it makes sense here. So now what we can do is in the app component, we are providing this auth context and in the navigation component, we want to consume that auth context. For that, the first thing which we need to do is we need to import use context hook from react library. Okay. Then we can go ahead and we can call this use context inside the component function. So just like any other react hook, 
this use context react hook can also be used inside the component function and to this we need to specify the context name which we want to use here here we want to use auth context and in order to use this auth context again we need to import it all right now here this use context will return an object which object this object all right so we are going to store that object in a variable let's call this variable maybe context okay and instead of saying props dot is logged in let's say context dot is logged in because on this context object we have this is logged in property right so here let's say context dot is logged in with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now you can see that now these navigation menus are available if i log out in that case they are not visible but if i provide a valid email address and a valid password and if i log in you can see that now those menu items are visible so in this way using react context we have made this state this is logged in state global because now this is logged in state can be accessed inside this main header component, this login component, this home component, and all their child components. And we don't have to pass this is logged in, the value of this is logged in using props. So this is what React context is and the use of use context React hook. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.